talk to him. LeBron, you had talked after last game about sustaining effort and energy throughout the whole game. Uh, I think you ended up with 18 attempts in the paint. A bunch of them came in the second half, some key in that start of that fourth quarter. Was that any direct effort from you, aside from just reading the defense like you typically would? Um, I mean, obviously, um, you know, like we, we've just been talking, like we have to sustain our effort, we have to sustain our energy. And I thought the third quarter was very important. You know, we've had a lead in a lot of these games, and then the second half, They've jumped on us, and, and even though, you know, they outscored us by two, um, we, we, we score with them, you know, to keep the lead um, at 11. Um, we was up 13 and a half, they scored us by two in the third, but we was able to put up 30, so that, you know, that definitely helped us going into the fourth, and then the fourth for me is just my mindset to try to close it out, you know, make plays, make winning plays, and uh, I was able to make a few. LeBron, because you are such a student of the game, what did you and your teammates learn from tonight that will help you in the next contest? Well, they're going to make adjustments. They're a great team. They're great, you know, super uh, well coached. So, you know, we have to be able to counter their attack, but also come in with the same mindset that we have to sustain our effort. We have to sustain our energy. Um, you know, however we're able to do that, um, keep attacking, um, you know, and, you know, try to keep them, you know, you know, and things that we can control, like fast break points. We only gave up 12 tonight to them. Uh, we only gave up. Uh, five second chance points, you know, and, and also at the same time, we only gave up nine offensive rebounds. So we knew we had to rebound, and obviously AD was killer on the glass today with 23, and then everybody else just tried to chip in. So um, it was key for us to rebound. We, we all rebounded them, I think, maybe, I don't know, the first three games, but I know for sure we got all rebounded in the game three. We was able to all rebound them tonight, and that really helped. LeBron, as close as this series has been, obviously it's 3-1, and there, there probably could be a natural human tendency to look back and oh, I wish it was 2-2 or, or, or something like that. But you guys as a group have been trying to climb out of, you know, you were 13th in the West in January, trying to make the play-in tournament, try to make the playoffs. Will that serve you in this situation as a group? Like, it, you could look at it like an opportunity versus look at it like what could have been? Well, the only opportunity for us is just to play the next game and we've given ourselves another life. We give ourselves another lifeline. And it's a one-game series for us, you know. So, um, you know, uh, Monday's game, I believe it's Monday. Yeah, Monday's game is the most important game of the season for us. And, and we understand that and we know that. So, uh, you know, what's at stake? You know, if you lose, you, you're done. If you win, you keep going. So uh, it's not much to talk about. Le LeBron, what did you make of the work AD did on the glass tonight? And just sort of, if, if you could kind of like put into words what that battle has been like this series for him. Um, I think, um, you know, what AD did for us on the glass tonight, when we were able to get them to miss, um, they're very good at their offensive of rebounding game. Um, and for AD to, um, <clears throat> you know, clean glass 20 on the defensive end is just, uh, it's just key for our offense. It's just key for, our, uh, for a lot of things that we want to do. And I think, um, you know, AD doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. He's one of the one of the best bigs that we have in the game, one of the best bigs in the world. And he's, he's shown that again, you know, through the first four games. LeBron, uh, <clears throat> what can snapping the 11 game streak do for you guys just from a mental perspective of felt like every time you guys were getting a close game with them, they would find a way to pull it out this time. It's, it's the opposite. Like, I guess what can getting through that do, if anything? Um, I don't know. I mean, we, we won this game, and that, that was most important. But now we, we got to start focusing on our next one. So, you know, it's not like, you know, um, you know we, we lose the next one, and then it'd be 12 and 1 in the last 13 games. So, you know, we want to try to, you know, make that not happen. You know, we want to continue to try to play good basketball and focus on, you know, our next task. And our next task is, like I said, is Monday's game and let's see what happens. Jamal Murray's hit some big down, shots down stretches of games, but you guys have largely um, held him in check, and he's been inefficient with the shooting. What have you liked about your guys' defense on him, keen in on him? I mean, he's a great player. He's going to make shots. He's going to make tough shots. He's going to make big shots. That's what he's done in his league for a long time. So, uh, you know, we just try to key in on our tendencies, key in on our game plan, and uh, just try to be um, as efficient as we can. We're just trying to keep a body on him, and when he raised, we try to raise and not put him to the free throw line, you know, and I uh, thought we were pretty good. I think all the guys that got an opportunity to match up with him tonight just did a really good job of just not um, giving him too many angles, um, but also just contesting a lot of his shots. Last question. Go ahead. Last question. Okay. 
Knowing the emphasis and urgency you guys have placed on the third quarter, at this point, do you guys talk about that at halftime, or is it something everyone kind of comes into the second half carrying? I mean, it, it's both. I mean, we know. We talked about it. Uh, we've been talking about it. It's been something that's been an Achilles heel for us all season, uh, coming into the third quarter with some energy, understanding that teams want to try to make that run when it started, uh, the second quarter happens. So uh, we talked about it again tonight, and we was able to fix it. You know, and. Um, you know, and it goes more than just talking about you guys. You got to go out there and be about it as well. And I thought we did that, you know. So um, it, it was very key to us getting this win tonight that we was able to, you know, um, you know, stay a good pace with them, you know, throughout the third quarter. And like I say, even though they scored 32, we scored 30. We was able to still, you know, maintain that energy going into the fourth. Um, um, it, was, it was an even score. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Jokic every night, 33 points, 14 rebounds, 14 assists in a loss. Okay. Nicola, what did they do that disrupted what you guys wanted to do tonight in particular? Uh, I mean, I think their offense was something that uh, they were really pushing the pace. They had open layups. They were they were destroying us in paint. Um, we couldn't make a shot. They, they didn't even make. They couldn't make shot either. But. Uh, Mm, seems like that uh, affected our defense uh, a lot. Um, I mean, that's a great team. I always say, like, their last four games we are down, um, first quarter, have halftime, whatever, so they're playing really good. Okay. I'm good. Um, Nicole, how do you balance trying to defend physically while also trying to know that your availability is so important and try to avoid foul trouble? Is that, is that a challenge at all to balance? I mean, I'm just trying to make make the guy shoot over me or make him hard or whatever. So I really don't think about not making a foul. Uh, you know, it's I don't know. I don't think I'm not really good in defense, my friend. So I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Nicola, winning a series is difficult, not easy. When you had a chance, you came here tonight thinking you have a, an opportunity to just end it. And you don't get that job done. The level of frustration, disappointment, upset. What do you feel? I'm, I don't feel that. I mean, they're I always like I said. They're they're a great team. You know, we have another opportunity in two days at our home, um, ho our home court. Uh, we will win or we will lose. One like we will see what's going to happen. So hopefully, hopefully we can win at home. Yeah, after that, if we lose, we have another opportunity. So we will see. Uh, on Monday, what, from a general perspective, uh, what um, from a general perspective, what adjustments do you want to make uh, from now until Monday that can think can help? Do you really flip? think I'm going to tell you? Not right specific. Now, not specific. That's that's why I said from a general perspective. From a general, try to stop their transition and try to don't let them 80 points in pain, basically. You had that pass, Nicola, in transition, that tip pass to Michael Porter. How did you know where the basketball was, and how did you know where to throw it or tip it to that? I mean, I was hoping the ball was going to be in front of me, and I was just, I saw Mike, so I was just waiting to ball to, so I can see the ball. And uh, KCP threw the bat, really good pass, and I would just tip it to, tip it to Mike. Were you surprised that he was there? No, I saw him. You saw him. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, do these slow starts feel like something that's just happening? Do they feel like controllable to you guys? And do, are you hopeful that going home and playing in Denver? I mean, of course, we want to, to win. But uh, I learned in uh, horse racing, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And uh, I mean, uh, we didn't finish today really well. So hopefully we can do a better job. But yes, we, we want to be up and control the game. But it seems like that didn't happen to us. As a team, you guys aren't shooting the basketball particularly well like you have all season long. What do you need to do to fix that, and are you concerned with that at all? I mean, yes, of course, this is like four game. Uh, we are not making shots, uh, the wide open looks. Uh, it's literally not even one player is not uh, making open o open looks. But we are create we are creating them, so we need to be we need to still uh, still believe in in our in our shots and um, try, uh, hopefully hopefully we're gonna make some. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Pleasure to call this. Up Monday, game. Oh, we get, you know, another opportunity to, you know, go play one more game. And uh, if we win, we'll come back and play another one and, you know, keep moving from there. Uh, 
you know, obviously wish we won 4 zero. You know, the you know odds aren't you know stacked in our favor, but anytime we can you know keep ourselves you know floating above water, you know we have an opportunity to go do something special, and um, you know we're ready for the challenge. Austin over over here. Um, for, from a psychological kind of perspective, like what, what does this do for you guys? Because you know, 11 straight wins, they had won a bunch of games in crunch time. It almost felt like they were kind of unbeatable in, in this matchup. So to kind of finally make them bleed, so to speak, like what, what can that do for you guys just from a mental side? Um, you know, obviously you see that, you know, we can win those games, close games uh, late. Um, when they make runs, I think that's when <clears throat> um, – in the past, they've you know really taken advantage of their little seven oh eight oh runs that would turn into you know twelve two or whatever. Uh, tonight, you know we you know kept them from you know kind of getting that and more. Um, so it's just you know builds confidence in what we're trying to do and um, you know hopefully continue to do. Your guys' defensive rebounding or the Nuggets' offensive rebounding has been a talking point or was a talking point after the first three games. How significant was that battle one, but also for AD to grab over half of your defensive rebounds and just over you know half of your rebounds total? Just how important was that battle with him on the inside? Yeah, I mean, AD does so much for our team uh, offensively, defensively, obviously rebounding the ball. Uh, for him to go get 23 in a game like this, it means a lot. And you could tell with his mentality going into the game, it was, you know, that's obviously been a point of emphasis and something that we have to clean up. And you could tell with, you know, his mentality, he was just like, I'll do it. So uh, tip your hat to a guy like that. We got to continue to, you know, continue to help him. Um, but, you know, hopefully he can go get them all. Austin, uh, Darwin was telling us that he told collectively the team to lean into this opportunity, to lean into the emotion, and so you guys could play freely. Is that something that, A, happened, and how was it different in game four this year compared to a year ago in the conference final? Um, you know, the, the difference is, is, you know, we won and have an opportunity to go back to Denver to, you know, try to continue to play. And last year, obviously, we got beat. And, you know, I thought we played uh, a good game last year in game four. Obviously, I think late in the game, they, you know, got us again as they have in the past. Um, but like you said, it was really, you know, go in tonight, you know, and, and play and have fun and, 